asleep yet? Hiya. Where were you this morning? What? Emily may have been working since six. I don't think you'd want me there. Oh, now we're sulking now, are we? It won't take long to finish that fencing now. I think we'll have it done in time for the sale. Well, that's down to you, Emily. Oh, it's, it's no trouble. I told Victoria to go and get dressed. Hey, good. Can I go now? Of course you can. You can do what you like. Go on, get yourself off. I think it's really good how you look after your sister, Andy. She thinks the world of you, and she must be missing Robert. I bet you all are. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a postcard today. Yeah. And maybe he'll bring us back a present. Andy. Sorry, Emily. See ya. Well, give us ten minutes, Dad. I'll walk down with you. Sorry about that, Emily. No, there's, there's no need to apologise, Jack. I think I was just in the way. She we needs to talk to. Well, I thought we were getting somewhere, but he still seems so touchy. Well, you know him better than anybody. And he looks up to you. I know he does. But I don't know what he wants. You can leave the washing up. I'll do it when I get back in. I want to use the light. I'll read Victoria's story. Thanks, son. It's OK. No, I mean it. I can see you making an effort. And I'm sorry I had a go at you this morning. I deserved it. No, you didn't. Do you know what, Andy? We could go on apportioning blame for the rest of our lives. We've got to get past that. I can't. Yes, you can. For Victoria's sake, you can. And to be honest, I'm just sick of being angry all the time. So am I. Well, good. That's a start. We'll be OK. This is becoming a habit. Am I trespassing? Well, it is private property. Can't keep away, that's my trouble. I'm glad you're here. Really? Really. Where I was brought up, there were lots of bricks. Bricks and proper paving stones. I never feel quite at home in all this space. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's just your way, Diane. You see, it's afresh. The trouble with me is I take too much for granted. I've broken up with Alan. Have you? It wasn't right, Jack. You think when you get older, you'll get wiser. But I'm a worse fool now than I've ever been. You're not a fool. <laughs> yes, I am. And there's not much I can do about it. I can't put the past right. I'll never forgive myself for doubting you. I even stood up in court against you and I couldn't have been more wrong. All I can do now is stop being childish and admit it. Admit what? I love you, Jack. That's the way it is. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm not expecting anything. I don't ever have to come up here again. Just diabolical things to me heels, anywhere. No, wait. Don't go. I'm sorry if I've embarrassed you. I've certainly embarrassed myself. Stop apologising, will you? Do you want me to go? Diane, I've just been through the worst year of my entire life. I feel battered, confused and washed out. I'm up to here with the kids. There hasn't been one minute for me to stop and think what I can give to somebody else. I'll go. No, please, don't. Diane... Wait. You're the only one I can talk to. Stay. Come back to the house. I can't get you out of my head, no matter how I try. Don't try. I've missed you, Diane. I really have. Oh. 